Welcome to our weekly morning worship service at Honeyville United Methodist Church in Weewaw, Hitchcock, Florida, via YouTube and live audience. Let us pray. Father, your word says to walk in the spirit. We need to throw off everything that hinders us. We ask you today to help us to identify and to cast off every sin that is holding us back. We declare that we will not be a slave to anything that will try to hold us back for my blessings. Amen. This morning's message is coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 7 through 15. Matthew, chapter 15, verses 7 through 15. And God's word says, you hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. Jesus called the crowd to him and said, listen and understand. What goes into someone's mouth does not defile them. But what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. Then the disciples came to him and asked, do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this? He replied, every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them. They are blind guides. If the blind leads to blind, both will fall into a pit. Peter said, explain the parable to us, the word of God for the people of God. This morning message is titled, Walk the Talk. Walk the Talk. But before we get into this message, I want to say thank you, Brother Leland, uh, for the inspiration, and also my sister over there, Nancy, for the inspiration uh, to develop uh, today's sermon. So it's coming from, coming from some good people I know. So let's get into this message. Many people think that if we accept Jesus Christ and we say we are Christians, that that is all there is to it. But along with saying it, we must, we must show it, we must live it. Too often, too often, we as believers tend to become likes in the way we do things. We feel that saying a thing is just as good as actually doing it. We take a that will do attitude. And to say it, the country way my grandpa from Greensboro, he would say that'll do. You didn't get it. But I come to tell everyone here in my voice that nothing could be farther from the truth. Saying that we are followers of Jesus Christ and not actually showing it is not a true follower. In order to be a true follower, we must not only talk the talk, but we must also walk the walk. So this morning, I will discuss three main points. First, I will discuss what it means by walking the walk. And then second, I will describe a few ways not to walk. And third and final, I will conclude with ways to walk. But the first main point, what is meant by walking the walk? I will use this example to illustrate what it means to walk the walk. I would like to assume that most people here in my voice have heard of the legendary wrestler, Ric Flair. I know most of you have. Woo! Ric's favorite line, when he was being challenged by, or challenging another wrestler, woo! Baby, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? And then he'll do like this little chicken strut that he had. And what Ric Flair is saying, to his opponent, is that they can talk like a wrestler. They can dress like a wrestler. And they can even act like a wrestler. But when it came time to put up or shut up, 
Ric Flair wanted to know if they could actually walk the way they talked. You see, if we do not know, the word walk appears 212 times in the Bible. I was fascinated by that. And with this many occurrences, we must believe that it is an important word in our relationship with God. As such, let's take a look at the definition of the word walk. And I had to go to the best resource on planet Earth. No, I did not go to the library. I went to Google on my cell phone. And it had several definitions for the word walk. But the definition I found most fascinating for our purposes is the noun version of the word walk. Because as a noun, we see the word walk meaning a manner of living, a manner of conduct a manner of behavior. So what Red Flair is saying to his opponents, if you can live the way you talk, can you back up what you say you can do? And as Christians believers, we too have to put up or shut up. When we talk the talk of a Christian, do we always walk the walk? Do we let our actions back up our words we tell people how we love God, but do we keep his commandments? Because God's word says in John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. But we need to understand this as a Christian. We are not walking the way we are talking. When we tell others, God will make a way, but we keep on worrying. We are not walking the way we are talking. When we talk about forgiveness, and, but we continue to hold on to a 20-year-old grudge. We're not walking the way we're talking when we tell others not to covet. Yet we want everything that someone else has. We're not walking the way we're talking when we say Jesus told us to love one another. But instead, we only love a select few. Now, I'm sure that everyone hearing my voice would agree that there are two ways to go about things, the wrong way and God's way. Notice I did not say the right way and the wrong way. I say it clearly, the wrong way and God's way. Now, as I move into the second main point, to describe a few ways not to walk, our Bible tells us in John chapter 8, verse 12, not to walk in darkness. This is the first way not to walk. The word darkness means being without light, being without knowledge. Then our Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2, do not walk in craftiness. Uh oh, I know someone may be thinking to themselves, watch the fancy words, preacher. But this word craftiness comes from the root word crafty, meaning cunning, deceitful, sly, or tricky. Now I know that everyone hearing my voice know what I'm talking about. You see, we should not walk in a manner to where we're telling deceitful lies about one another, like spreading rumors that causes someone to get hurt or gossiping, and anything in between. We should not allow ourselves as Christians to go down to that level. We should not allow ourselves as Christians to spread evil in this way. Also, walking in craftiness is when we purchase or attempt to purchase or advise someone to purchase stolen items. We shouldn't do that as Christians. We need to understand the word has a way, the world, has a way of making bad seem good and good seem bad. But it is our task not to fall into their system, not to fall into it. We are born knowing how to do wrong. We are born knowing how to walk in sin. But God's word tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things, not some, all things become new. 
when we are a new creature in Christ. And see, when it comes, when we become a follower of Christ, we no longer walk in sin. When we become a follower of Christ, we should no longer walk in craftiness. When we become a follower of Christ, we should no longer walk in darkness. We should talk. We should walk and talk the way that Christians talk. And in order to walk in the walk, in order to walk the way we talk, we must have a method of operation. There must be an order to what we do. We must know how to walk. And this brings us to the third and final walk, make our point. The ways to walk. Psalms 37, 23 says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Therefore, for us to walk the way we talk, we first need to ask God to order our steps. With God ordering our steps, we can walk the walk we talk. With God ordering our steps, we as 1 John chapter 1 verse 7 says, walk in the light and be cleansed by the blood of Jesus from all sin. With God ordering our steps, we can as 3 John chapter 3 verse 4 says, walk in truth. With God ordering our steps, we can, as it is written in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 4, walk by faith and not by sight. With God ordering our steps, we can, as written in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2, walk in love. With God ordering our steps, we can, as written in Colossians chapter 4, verse 5, we can learn to walk in wisdom. And when our steps are ordered by the Lord, we learn how to walk worthy. When our steps are ordered by the Lord, we learn how to walk in Christ. When our steps are ordered by the Lord, we learn how to walk as Christ walked. And finally, when we walk like Christ walked, we walk pleasing God. We need to know that Jesus took the longest walk after talking the talk. Jesus walked to the will of him that sent him. Jesus knew that after talking the talk, he had to walk the walk. Had Jesus not walked the walk, the talk would have been in vain. Had Jesus not walked the walk, the talk would have been null and void. Jesus walked all the way to Calvary. Jesus was hung, bled, and died for your sins and for mine. Jesus could have walked down from the cross to save himself. But instead, our Lord and Savior Jesus walked the walk and died to save you and me. But that's not where the story ended. We know the story. Jesus talked the talk saying, I will rise again. He said, I will rise again. And early on that third morning, Jesus walked the walk that fulfilled the talk. Jesus rose with all power in his hands. Jesus rose to show that his walk backed up his talk. So let us learn to walk the way we talk. Let us learn to live the way we tell others to live. Let us not only talk the talk, but also walk the walk and draw near unto the Lord, not only with our mouths, but also with our hearts and with our love for all of mankind. Amen. Perhaps. Perhaps my message touched someone in a special way. In a way so special that if you want to now give your life to Jesus, then repeat this message with me. If you just simply say with your mouth and believe it in your heart that God saved Jesus, that God raised Jesus from the dead. <laughs> that is so powerful. God raised Jesus from the dead for our sins. And now as I bring this morning words of service to a close for those of you on YouTube, we are to walk in love, to walk in light, to walk in the spirit. Yes, we should be reminded that the Christian life is a walk and it is to be a walk as Jesus walked, not just a talk. Amen.